check it out folks look the fourth of july is just right around the corner right listen if you're looking to raise your chicken game up then check this video out let's get it okay so look like all my other videos all of the ingredient list you know what i mean with the measurements will be down in the description box below so let's go ahead and make this marinade right so come on in here right now if you guys haven't seen look this right here is genius you know what it's super simple but it make your life so much better but check it out now we just finna go ahead and put it here bring it over here to this side right and then you just open this up like this and check that out folks super simple this right here man this right here is fire folks so let's go ahead and just put our ingredients in the bag right so i'll start with my w sauce soy sauce lemon juice vinegar now i want you guys to take a look at this right here right look this is that branch and vine this is that rosemary infused olive oil right listen when you use you know the top notch ingredients this is how everything just turns out like way over the top right so i'll go ahead and add my infused olive oil garlic powder and then here we're gonna add our dijon mustard now we'll go ahead and add some fresh black cracked pepper now this right here Look, just go ahead and grind until, you, until you're tired. Then we're going to add a little kosher salt. Just a pinch. That's all you need. We just want to wake it up just a little bit, right? All right, now we're going to add the fresh rosemary. And then last but not least, we're going to come with the brown sugar. Okay, so look, get yourself a whisk. And then what we're going to do is just get all of this to incorporate, you know, together, right? And I like to make this first. You know, because we put that brown sugar. I just wanted to make sure everything is nicely, you know, married together. You know, blended together. Once we have it like that, this is going to be our marinade, folks. Now, I want to talk to you guys about the chicken. Like, what I do to the chicken. Look, these are just boneless, skinless thighs, right? Depends on the manufacturer. You can see it's got a little fat on it, stuff like that. So, listen, what I want to do is I'm going to trim these up, cut them, cut the breast. Anyway, look, I'm not going to over talk it. Let me just show you. Obviously, we want to get this off of here, right? We just want to just make a little, you know, series of cuts right along the fat. And you can see it kind of like comes out. It's okay to have a little bit on here. You know what I mean? But any of it that I can trim without spending like, you know, 30 minutes on each piece, I do. So now we'll come to the breast. Look, this is what we're going to do. You could look, it's always thicker at this top part of the breast, right? So what we want to do is take some of this out, right? So I just come, look at it, divide that by, you know, just want to do it halfway, right? Look at it like this, and that's fine. Now you can take it, and you can sort of like just butterfly it, right? Make sure your knife is sharp. Then we just take it like this, and there you have it. Okay, so you just saw me cut the breast down, right? So look, get yourself some saran wrap. Just go ahead and cover it. I'm going to use the smooth side. I use this side right here when I'm doing steaks, you know, or something like that. But for chicken, just use this. Got my breast. We'll just add it in here just like that. This right here will make a nice grilled sandwich. So now we just take this off. Right? Move this over here. Now for me, I like to just hold it, squeeze out as much air as I can. Go ahead and close it like that. And now we just move it around. I could have put a lot, uh, you know, a few more pieces of uh, chicken in here. But this is what we want to do right here. I want you guys to take a look at that right there. Ooh-wee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, right? So check it out. If you're going to grill tomorrow, you do this the day before, like the day before the holiday, the big grill day or whatever. And you just want to put it in eight hours and above. So I'm going to go in right now. This is probably going to get about 13 hours inside of this. But right now we're going in the refrigerator. Super simple, folks. Okay, so look it's just really just that simple so what i did was i went ahead and just like pan you know i guess you could say pan fried or pan pan seared you know my chicken breast right but listen when you use the uh check it out when you use that brown sugar 
you know, it puts that little crust on the outside of that. You want to make sure that anytime you're doing uh, food, especially chicken, you want to make sure it's cooked all the way to 165 in the center, right? I checked it in several spots just to make sure we was at 165. Hey, listen, this right here is super over the top. I promise you, you put this out, especially if you put them out on the grill. Hey, listen, I'm not finna over talk it. You guys see it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And with that being said, check this out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button. And I want you guys to tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm about to sneak this off to the side and I'm about to eat and we about to film again. I'm out. Peace.